Hi, it's Margie from Margilis Creations, and welcome to my Learn to Knit series. We'll be going over different techniques and stitches for you guys to learn to knit. In today's video, we're going to be going over In this video, you're going to learn how to make a wonderful dishcloth. So it is a pretty simple pattern um, and it does just take knitting and you learn how to increase your stitch and then you also learn how to decrease your stitch. These washcloths are really great because they last a long time. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a dishcloth. And so for that, you're going to want a cotton. Um, usually it's a worsted weight cotton. And so I, you can see I've used this one and I probably need to wind it up on my ball winder, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So your ball bands are always going to have a gauge. So it says it's a 10 by 10 centimeter or a four by four inch square. And in that square, you should have 20 stitches by 26 rows. That's how this works. And it's suggesting using a 4.5 millimeter or a US size 7. So to start off, you cast on. You can refer back to my first learning to knit video for casting on. I am just going to cast on long tail cast on because I am more comfortable long tail casting on. So then you're going to cast on four stitches. So there's two, three, and you want to make sure that your stitches aren't all that tight. Okay, and then I'm going to turn. And again, this is just a straight knitting. It is a good practice pattern. We knit four. We knit four and then we turn. And now this is where our pattern starts. We're going to knit two, then we are going to yarn over. So we've got our knitting two here, so we're going to yarn over. So the yarn goes over our knitting needle. And so that creates an extra stitch. And then we knit the remaining on the needle. So we had four stitches to begin with, and now we have five because we have created that extra stitch. And then we turn and we repeat that. So you knit two, yarn over, and knit to the end of the row. So in this case, the end of the row, last, last time the end of the row is two. In this case, the end of the row is three. And now we have six on ours. So that is how this pattern goes. You knit two, yarn over, knit to the end of the row. And you keep doing that until you have between 40 to 50 stitches, depending on how big you want your dishcloth to be.
So at this point, I have got 11 stitches on my needles. And you can see that we are starting to get a little bit of a pattern showing. So we are increasing by one every row. And so you can see we're getting a pattern here. So I cut away there for a sec, actually more like an hour, but here I am with 35 stitches on my needles. So I continued with just knitting two, yarning over, and then knitting to the end of the row and then turning every row and just working that. And you can see how we've got this pattern. So those yarn overs are along the side right here. So you can see how that is a cute pattern there. So I'm going to keep knitting on this off camera until I get to about, um, I think I've been knitting these 45 stitches on here and I find that gives me a pretty good size dishcloth. Here I am with 45 stitches on my needles. So there's that continuation of that beautiful side edging pattern. So now I'm going to show you guys how to start decreasing. So it's going to be very similar to what we were doing. So again, I know I'm repeating myself, but we did knit two, yarn over, and then we just knit the rest of the row. So this is going to be continuing the pattern again. When we're starting our row, we're going to knit one, only one. Okay. Then we're going to knit two together. So I find it easiest with these ones just to go through like that through the back loop and the back loop so we're going basically so as if we're going to just transfer those stitches over onto this needle and then we yarn over and pull through both of those loops both of those stitches and that leaves us to there then we yarn over to continue our nice pattern and then we knit two together through the back loop again. Right? So we are decreasing by two and increasing by one, if that makes sense. And that is going to be our repeat as we go through. So we're going to knit one, knit two together through the back loop, yarn over, knit two together through the back loop, and then knit to the end of the row. And so at this point, you've noticed that it takes a long time to get through one whole entire row. But I will show you guys here for the whole row, me knitting again. So there we go. So you can already see how this is like going up at an angle. It's already, because of that decrease, is already starting to angle that way. And that was only one row. And that is our ultimate goal. So we are going to repeat that once we've turned our row. So that's, again, that's knit one. Knit two together through back loop yarn over and then knit two together through the back loop and then knit to the end of the row 
So you're just going to continue that decrease pattern at the beginning of every row until you have four stitches left. So that's knit one, knit two together through the back loop, yarn over, and knit two together through the back loop. And knit to the end of the row. So just keep repeating that. And so if you look at it here, that's with four rows of decreases. So you can see how it's no longer going up at an angle like this. It's decreasing at an angle like that on both corners. So here I am, and I've got 15 stitches left on my thing. So you can see we've got that continuation of the nice loop on the edge there. So you've probably also noticed that it's seeming a little lopsided. And it's seeming to kind of stretch a lot up here. Well that's because you've got a very little amount of stitches up here and you've got all the weight pulling them down. So don't worry about that. Once you are finished with knitting this off, it will, I'll show you how to stretch it so it looks nice. So then again, it's knit one, knit two together. You don't have to knit them through the back loop. You can knit them through the front loop like this. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. Because, I mean, this has been a dishcloth pattern that I'm pretty sure every grandmother has, who has ever existed has taught to their children and their grandchildren. Um, this is the most common knit dishcloth. My grandma, actually, I suppose my husband's grandmother actually taught me how to knit this dishcloth um, a couple of years ago when I started knitting um, or when I started knitting again um, she taught me to knit the normal regular style so in my first video of me knitting so it was how I was holding the needle like this and yarning over this way and then my husband's um, auntie actually showed me how she knits. And she knits the continental style. And I just I picked it up so quickly. And I really enjoy knitting this way now. So 
so the last row there, so it was knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and that's the end of the row. So then we've got four on there. So then we're going to turn it again. We're going to fully knit the row. So that's knit four. Then we are going to cast off. So I went over cast off in the first video again as well. But again, casting off is you knit one, you knit the second one, you slide the first stitch over the second one, and that leaves you with one stitch on your needle. Then you knit another one, and you slide that first stitch, that's on your needle, over top of that second one, okay? and then you knit the fourth one, the last stitch, and you yarn over and pull that up. So I like pulling a bigger loop at the end there. And then you cut your yarn, and so you put your finger through that loop, and you just pull that through there. So it looks a little oblong, right? That happens. So you just give it kind of a good tug this way, give it a tug this way, and then tug on each, each square edge. And there you go. So these do look a little bit better once you have actually washed them and used them. So after you weave in your ends, you have your very own Granny's Dish Glass. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this technique or stitch really helped you guys with your learning to knit and to become a better knitter. As always, like and subscribe and you'll see me on the next video. Bye! Oh, and look, I even made a mistake right over here. I missed a yarn over right there. Oh, how professional am I? Oh goodness, don't fall! Okay. Oh my goodness.